Good morning, friends. Today, I want to give thanks and praise to our God because he is just so great and just so amazing. So yesterday when I did my morning video, I was feeling kind of heavy, kind of stressed, kind of like all these fiery darts were just coming at me from every different direction. And I went to work yesterday morning and I confided in my dear friend and sister in Christ and I was in her room and just telling her about all these fiery darts and we just prayed together. We prayed together in the name of Jesus that all these fiery darts would just fall at my side, fall at her side, fall at our side. Um, and let's just say they did. God totally delivered me yesterday and just encouraged me over and over and over again. And I just am so thankful and I just praise him. And Friend, he, he is such a good father. When we cry out to him in our distress, he hears us, he delivers us, he leads us in the way we should go. He provides encouragement to us through his Holy Spirit and through other people. I got this, this precious little note on my desk yesterday from a little boy in my class just saying, thank you for being my teacher. And it, it just, it, it was such a blessing to me, just that small little gift, um, on notebook paper and I taped it to my desk and just those small little moments that so many of us just don't even recognize as answers to prayer or encouragement right from the hand of God, but it is. And then a final thing that happened yesterday at the very end of the day, this isn't even something that I prayed about, but it was just something like a gift that God gave me, kind of like when you receive a gift for your birthday or Christmas, something that you didn't specifically ask for, but you get and you open it and you're just so surprised because it just goes against everything you thought was possible for a gift. I received that yesterday afternoon. Um, I can't say specifically what it is, but it's something that just went against a, a specific rule that has been been in place for a really long time that I didn't even really think to to pray for what I received yesterday because I just thought well it goes against the rules like it's not what I'm supposed to receive but then someone gave me this gift and it wasn't a physical gift it was it was it was a different gift but anyway i just i just stand in awe of of who god is and how he is so faithful to us as his children so i'm just praising him today and friend i pray that um i i encourage you today that if you're if you're going through something dark if you feel like fiery dart after fiery dart is being thrown at you just know that the lord sees you and he hears your cry and yesterday i read from psalm 107 and the author of this psalm, the psalmist is envis envisioning actually the Israelites uh, who wandered in the wilderness without direction until God, Yahweh, guides them. And they were wandering in desert wasteland. They were hungry and thirsty. Their lives ebbed away. But then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. And then they sat in darkness, in utter darkness, prisoners suffering in iron chains. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He broke away the chains. And then after each one of these, it, it has a praise. Let, let them give thanks for the, to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. And then after that, they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm, and he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. Friends, let's not forget to praise God today, to give thanks to him for what he has done. It might be the smallest thing of encouragement that you receive today from somebody. That's a gift from God. And God gives us the best gifts. And let's, let's recognize that today. And then Psalm 34, this is of David. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. 
And 2 Corinthians 9, 8, God is able to bless you abundantly today, friend. Do you believe that? God is able to bless you abundantly today. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the encouragement that you give to us. I thank you, God, that when it feels like the weight of the world is on our shoulders, when we feel these fiery darts being thrown at us from all different directions and just the swirling storm just around us, Jesus, and then we cry out to you. We cry out to you in our distress and in our trouble. We cry out to you to deliver us, God, and you do, Jesus. You silence the storm. You hush it. Uh, you say, peace, be still. And we just thank you, Jesus. We thank you um, for the Holy Spirit in our lives. We thank you for the gift of other believers that we can go to and, and talk to them about what confide in them. And then uh, that encouragement we receive when we pray with the body of Christ Jesus. I pray for my friend today who's listening, that you would bless them abundantly today, that they would extol you, that, that we all would extol you, Jesus, that we would praise you, that we would glory in you that we would glorify you together, Lord, and we would exalt your name. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day.